Let's do a second example. This time we'll rotate around a vertical line. In particular, let's take the region bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 2x and rotate it around the y axis axis and find the volume of the resulting solid. We'll start by taking a look at the region. So this region here, and we're rotating it around this line. Everything is going to have to be in terms of y since we have a vertical axis. y equals x squared is the same as x equals the square root of y. And y equals 2x is the same as x equals y over 2. Starting from the axis, we go over until we reach the region. Starting from x equals 0 and winding up at x equals y over 2 gives us a distance of y over 2. Keep going. Starting at x equals 0 and ending up at x equals the square root of y gives us a distance of the square root of y. So those are our outer and inner radii. We're not quite ready for the fundamental theorem yet. We need limits of integration. And we see this region begins here where these curves meet and it ends here again where these curves meet. So we'll set y over 2 equal to the square root of y y equals, how do I want to do this? y equals 2 times the square root of y. And there are, there are different ways you could finish this out. I'm going to take everything over to the same side. and pull out a square root of y. Then applying the zero product property, either the square root of y equals zero, giving us y equals equals zero, or this equals zero, which happens when y equals four. So we start at y equals zero, wind up at y equals four, and now 
we're pretty much prepared to use the fundamental theorem and finish this problem out. We need an antiderivative for y, one half y squared. Here we'll bump y squared up to y cubed, but we'll also divide by three. And when we stick four in here, um, that's eight. Let's see. Four cubed is sixty-four over twelve. When we plug in zero. we get to zero and zero. And now I suppose we could do a bit of simplification. Let's see, 64 twelfths should be 32 sixths. were 16 thirds. Eight is 24 thirds. So 24 thirds minus 16 thirds is eight thirds. And you could plug that into a calculator to get a decimal or leave it as is. I will leave it as is.